Right, as you can see, we're back at it now. I'm just getting me to coring tools. We're doing the long carrots. Time for coring. Because we've got to get them planted Wednesday. So I've, I'm, I'm on the last barrel now. And uh, so I've done all, all seven. This is my last one, the eighth one. And I've got two stump beds to do. So, but we'll show you. We'll show you how we do, core it out, fill them up. I know you're pretty well and any know it anyway, but we'll show you the process of what we've got to do. And uh, we'll get it done. Well, I hope you can see. Right, first we'll mark out the, the where we're going to roughly put them. I did say five when I was um, doing, you remember I was doing the refilling of the barrels, emptying and filling them up. I did say we was going to do five, but now I've gone with four. I'm going to try four this year. I know it's five carats less, but at the end of the day, I was thinking along the lines that it's a bit less foliage. Oh, because when you got five, I like to get my circles right. <laughs> Make sure they're roughly even as possible. When you got five, I was thinking, well, foliage, the foliage does get a bit much. So we're going to try it with four. See if it makes a difference. As you can see, I like to get them roughly right. And I probably don't make a bloody difference, but the presentation to start off with will be there. Okay, we got them right now. Well, roughly. Right, so we start coring the hole. We like, we start with our two foot pod. Well, just over two foot. This is. But we start with this. Try and keep it as straight as you possibly can. Sorry if I'm in the way. Right. I mean, we have soaked this sand beforehand, but it has lasted well. The only thing I've have to do is just re wet, re wet the top. Obviously, because the top dries out quicker than anything, because the wind with the netting, you know, it dries it out quicker. Same with the trenches. You think, oh, it's drying out, but you yeah, like trenches, and it's because the wind blows the top dry. And but further down it is still a bit wet. Oh, right, we've used that one. We'll put that there. Always try and put everything to hand as much as you possibly can. Right, we're on with this one. Now it's a bit tricky with this. I have to watch the roof of the tunnel. It just fits in. Just about. I mean, the eye, it's lucky I don't put nothing on the top or you know, another board I could. I won't be able to core them out. <laughs> Unless you've got a really good height in your tunnel. You know, this is about the limit I can do. But you just got to be careful. Careful's being the key. Because this is the tightest one in the tunnel to do. Reason being, because this barrel is taller than the rest, see. You type point it in, it's just taking it out. Will we get there? Just take your time. Right. Take your time. It comes out. 
Now you've got to get your sand right because if you don't, the sand will drop out the hole out your cora. So you must get it right as much as you possibly can. That's what I mean, get it right. You've got to get the uh, the wetness, you know, the moisture right for your sand. Right. Now, as you can see, we're using, it's a bit like um, a scraper, but as it, because I, I run it across the roof of the tunnel, the polythene, it's got a nice smooth edge. So I don't, I don't go through with poly, polytunnel polythene. Right, as you can see, this is going down now. Like I said, they've got to be careful. Alright, we get down. And this makes a, uh, like Simon Smith says, a bit, bit of a narrow core. Like that. Where you, you, hopefully you, you carry to go down and see. So there, that's how much we've got sticking out. And that's how far the rest of the pot, you know, the rest of the uh, broom's gone in. But we'll push that down as much as we can. I have to put that on top of there because it hits me and try and get in the middle as best as possible and push. Do you want? <laughs> so obviously I can't go all the way down the core because once the handles hit this, that's it. But we're slightly enlarging the hole. Slightly enlarge it. Right, and then push the rest of the way down. As much as we can. As you can see, what was sticking up now, that's now gone in. And then what we do, twist, 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 pull. And there we go. And slowly come back out. Slowly. Like I said, this is the hardest one to do in my tunnel. So it take, you have to take your time. A little bit of time, a bit of patience, gets it done. That's done. Now sometimes you can fill up as you go if you want to. But I prefer to do all the holes. Just in case I make a mistake. And then... I can put all the sand back in, on it down, and then start again. All right. Do the same again. Push down, look at it straight as we possibly can. This is where the upper strength plays a part. As you can see, most people planting leeks out now. We shall be doing that in a week or so's time. The weather don't look too bad, actually. But I want to get these long carrots in the 12th of April this year. Let's all out the seed germinates as well as it it should because last year we had a bit of a failure and then I had to re sow, put it in later. We still had good carrots, don't get me wrong. But they the wore the standard of Adam in the past. And for one of my subscribers uh, I don't know his name, but I'll, I'll go off his YouTube thing, Splish Splash. But on the Maisy Tomatoes, I think we've had uh, out of 40, 40 Maisy Tomato seeds, we've had four misfires, I think. And I will show you. Probably not in um, this part, but I will show you towards the end. 
So, I know you said, <laughs> even though you had a bit of poor germination for both companies, I had them now different to what you see me, to what you probably done. So all I did was put them on an heat mat. But, they have come up well. I could have landed on a good packet, maybe. As you can see, I'm coring it out. No. I've got a tilt. Near enough. Getting dark now. I'm going to try and get this done before it gets dark. It's just when having the time to do it. To get it done. Now, we all get a bit busy. Alright, and like I said, try and get in the middle as you possibly know. Of course, I did that in the middle, push down, widen the hole, and the other way, and push down. So we've got that hollow core down there for the carrot to go. And that will fill up a compost. And hopefully that's where the tap roots all go. You probably will get the carrot down there. Probably will get the carrot down there. Good. Well, at least we'll get the tap root down. That's the theory anyway. Right. Next one. All my sand goes into a bucket and then it goes into a tum bag for when we come to using it again next year. Or you can do jobs with it if you've got concrete in jobs to do. And then have a, always have a fresh tun now and then just so you can keep that bit of fresh sand going in each time. I mean, because sand always comes in handy, doesn't it? So... We get these done. So the oddest part's getting bloody out. One more for this one. The easiest part is filling it up. It's just getting these cores out, which is a pain in the bottom. So that bit the handle stopped me see from going right down in the rim of the barrel but that's where we use that bit of um, I don't know scraper whatever you would like to call it the only downside to growing carrots is that the top might look good but you don't know what's underneath well, you don't know what's growing in it, I should say. The top might look good. You think, oh, I've got a belter here. I've got a couple of good sets here. Until you pull them up. 
some are more legs than an octopus as you can see that's what you know i'm hoping to get that in i could get it to there but it's a bit more hard pushing but we try and get it to there i mean that's an extra few inches four or five inches all all counts push down like i said Groove. push down and then the one way and then the other Okay, as you can see, well in there. <laughs> right. Now, I've done all the riddling. I mean, <sighs> I riddle too many bags, to be honest. A compost. But, nevertheless, I was going to film it. And then, I thought, oh, I normally riddle ten bags, see. And that normally does me a lot. But the only thing is, I thought I'd do them all and leave the last one, the ninth bag, so you could see. But I don't do many. Right, so I've just got to go into the sand. I'll be back in a sec. No, I'm just coming around the other side now to do the last one. And then we'll show you the filling. I mean, sorry if it's a bit of a boring process, but at the end of the day, I did say I'd show you on what everything that I do, well, what I can show. Sometimes I forget to film it, but what I can show, I will show through the season. That's what I said we were going to do. I hope you all am enjoying it for getting something from it. But if you could keep, you know, subscribing, be much appreciated. Comment as much as you want. Ask questions, like I say, if I can help you, I'll show. If I don't know the answer, I'll ask somebody and try and give you some sort of answer all right that's down there i'll like say it's the oddest one to do i don't mind doing the stumps because it's just using that one coring tool and it's quite simple and quick and easy really Right. Right, one more with this one. And you can finally get it completed for this 2023 season. How's the weather treating you at your end? We had rain all day today. And then we had ale, some big ale as well, did come down. Oh, I'm glad that one's over. Whoopsie. Right.
next one now the oldest part I get it in is getting it back to the end I'm in there. Like I say, patience is key. Patience is key. Try and get in the centre. Get a go. Push it down. Wind one way. Clockwise and anti clockwise, as you want to call it. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oops. Now says he's getting it back out. Let me help and see this video because it's getting quite dark now. Right, hopefully the night night ball will come on me. Camera uh, I nearly fell over. Right, move all my coring tools away. Now they're not in the road. Now we're in for the compost. Right, I'm going to take you off here, put you back on in a sec. As you can see, lovely fine compost. Now I'm using Umax Original, as you can see, Umax, Umax Original Compost. Now the reason I use this is because it's like using Levington's F2S. You know, beautiful riddle compost. But I think it's a quarter of an inch, if that, for a riddle. And we don't have much rubbish out of it actually, but I've probably got enough bags to do another year in 2024, you know, because I bought the last what we're selling our allotment shop. And then I'll have to find an alternative and see what people I'm using and see what results I'm getting. So, I really did like growing all my stuff in Umax, the, the plants did like it, but there is a peat free alternative, but one or two lads have said they've had decent results, so we'll have to see, but as you can see, they're done, the top dries are, but I'll give it a good watering, as you can see, they're all there, four to each one, let me pop you back up. There we go. Right, I made a homemade funnel out of some damp course. Idea was from Simon Smith. He did give me the link to um, get a proper funnel, but it was about thirty pounds for the proper funnel. And I thought he mentioned that I could do one with damp course. So I was thinking how, and then as I was trying to do one so there we go so i'll do one where you roughly can see it here as that fits in lovely and then what i do we have made the all smooth round it tap round it so none of that goes back in and then we do we just get a scoop scoop it in until we come to the top. What should I do? I'll do this one hole and then I'll show you how I top it, try and keep it nice and tidy. And then I'll go and drop some on the sand.
Alright, just keep checking. And then we'll show you when we come to the stumps. It's the same process really, so I'll just give you an idea on how I do it. It's all the same mix for the long hand stump. So Sometimes when you're filling up, you think, look, you know, when's it when's going to end? Try not to get the, uh, the idea. Some people cut templates, wooden templates out, and then they just smooth it all in, which is probably your best idea. But it helps if you've got all the same barrels or whatever. Right, there we go. All right, and I'll put that in the next one. Smooth it around so as you know, cleaning it up. So it's making a mess. Now I'll just put my fingers down and slowly tap it down. And just get a bit more. And scoop it into the hole there. Slide it in. Then smooth it over. Same again. I mean, sometimes, you, you know, you, you fill it up and you drop lucky. It's near enough to the top and sometimes, you know. Then my idea is try not to make a mess on the sand. I mean, it don't hurt it. It just makes it look untidy. We're trying to get, you know, less compost on the sand as possible. <laughs> All right. There we go. Filling it up to the truthfully level. Always put a bit more on. Because I'm going to press it down in a sec to make it a nice pan base. Like that. And there we go. And then what we do on Wednesday, we'll show you. We're going to make a little dibber, put five carrot seeds in, give it a water in. But I should water it beforehand because normally if you water it, after you move the seeds about a bit and you'll have one germin out here one germin out there one day we want to try and get banks back in that middle so we do water it first but we'll show you that anyway we'll water it first and put a bit of damp compost on the top and then you will have to water it again okay we'll see you on wednesday hi everyone well it is wednesday the 12th of april and we're back right like i said we're going to put the seed, long carrot seed in today. Before I take the rest of it off. Now we're using a carrot seed from Select Seeds from Dave Thornton. As you can see there. Exhibition long carrot, pointed carrot B. 200 seeds. Hopefully we'll have a good set of germination. Move a bit forward, see if you can see it. We'll have a good set of germination. And hopefully we have a good carrot for the season. Right, so we'll open it up. Don't know about where you are, but it's been bloody terrible here in the Midlands today. Wednesday the 12th. Rain all day bloody long. Heavy winds. So the trouble is with our lot, it's quite open, see. Was so bad when we had the school up behind us, but since I knocked it down and built a bit smaller one, it, uh, it's more exposed. Right, anyway, 
Here's your little dibbering tool if you've got one, if not, use a sharpie pen. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get down to the number two mark. As you can see, if you can see that, number two. About quarter of an inch, half inch or so, something like that. Anyway, we give it a dibber down there, right? Half inch, straight in the centre. Beautiful. I might have made that one too deep. Let's try again. Right. Half inch in the centre. We do all our holes first. Right. We've done our holes now. Before I do anything, I might get some compost in the bucket. Bear with me. Should have done this first, but never mind. Right, I've already pre-soaked. I've already pre-soaked the um, the barrels on top. Because, like I said, you know. If you do the water enough, it seems to move the seed about. Now, I don't know why it just does. Alright, we've got our compost there in the bucket. And now we'll do the algae. We'll put that ready on for the next one. Alright. Now, we're going to roughly put about five seeds in each. It's good sized seed as well, this is. Good sized seed. I can see amongst the chaff. Right, as you can see there, good solid carrot seed there, going to ask for better. That's how fleet comes up. See, what you want is a nice even germination, but the only thing is the weather's got to be countable as well. So there we go, we go one, two, three, four. Five. Right, five seeds is more than enough there. I want at least three to germinate. And then we can try and pick the best seedling. Two. Three. Or five. Right? Five in each one. Now, if one does come up, it ain't too bad because you ain't got to thin it out. The only trouble is it might not be the best seedling. That's the only downside. You want to... And when you're thinning out, try and thin out so it's all even across the board. You've got all even growth so them all at the same stages. Because otherwise, you will end up with carrots. You'll end up with a carrot bigger than the rest. That's a theory anyway. But you want them roughly all the same size if you possibly can. One. Two. Two. Three. Four and five. Oh, there's our five in each. Put the carrot seeds back in the packet. All right, ready for the next one. All right, put that there. You see, just put me the five carrot seeds in each. So all we're going to do. This is already damp, but I'll go a quick light over with it. The can, but not too much. He's already damp anyway. So that's all we're doing. Fill the hole in. Okay. And there you go. That That's how you cover up. Well, that's how I cover them up. I know it ain't rocket science, but... 
Someone always my task. Put it over the top. Hit there, spread it round. Right. And just push down. Oh, I'll need to wet this because it's already uh, moist. And because I'm pressing it down, because I've just pre-watered it, you will need it'll soak into it anyway. All right. There we go. Okay, there you go. That's a uh, first barrel done. I'll do another one and uh, you know, just for the video purposes, so I'll move you along to the next one. Okay. So we do one more just for you to see again, and then what we'll do is I'll carry on doing the rest, and when we come to the stump carrots, I'll show you that bit of coring and filling, and then when I'll show you when we put the stump carrot seed in. I'm using new stump carrot seed this year, it's a um, Key Foster, it's a new one. And uh, from Foster's Seeds. And uh, Ian Simpson, who's a really good carrot grower, as you may know him from Scotland. And uh, he's really writing it. He's, do, he, he, he's giving more on that one. It's called Gladys, I think its name is. And uh, he's doing Sweet Candle as well, as I've been talking to him. But he, he says he's got really good potential. Because Sweet Candle now is he's getting a bit long. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's still probably the best one for exhibition. But you got to try and not get it so long. Easy said than done. But the, the carrot variety is a new red intermediate. I'm all new red intermediate. Some people, it's just reselected, that's all. That's a three, four, five. Yeah, it could do with a new new bit of blood in it. But I don't think there's anything that's close that's going to touch it, to be fair. I know Dave Thornton's got one, uh, it's called SS. That stands for Select Seeds. He said it was crossed with two, two red intermediates from different people. And he crossed it himself. Uh, it's a it's a decent one. It's a good one. It was pretty easy -ish to mash up. I grew it last year and um, had reasonable results. Never got a card, mind you, but nevertheless, we had reasonable results. Well, this year, try this one. I think this is a Scottish reselected one. So we'll see how we do. Like I say, them all new red intermediate anyway. And just people's different selections that he's got. I'm probably better off standing on the battle. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oi. Two. Oh. Okay, it's like I yeah, like say, put the carrots back in the in your packet, ready for the next one. Oh, right, and we just top up a bit of compost, <coughs> just a bit across the top to fill that in. There 
There we go. Just a bit on each. There we go, last one. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, we've just got to have a good germination, fingers crossed. And what we'll do, we'll come back when we're doing the stumps. Uh, oh, well, thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next bit. Okay, well, we're back on the last part now. And we, we're going to sow the stumps today as it's the 26th of April. But the stump carrot we're going to use today is Keith Foster's new one from Foster's Seed. And there you go, as you can see there. Oh, that's the new one I was on about. So we're going to get them done today, as it's the 26th of April. So that's the stunt we're using from Foster's Seeds. Hopefully we get good germination on this also. But what we'll do, we'll put four or five carrots in each one. And see how we get on. As you can see, this is a um, treated seed. Right. Let me just show you. What I mean by treated seed, it's been coated, coated with a fungicide. There you go, as you can see. Coated with a fungicide. Nice size seed, so we'll get on sowing them. So put four or five to each one. One. Two. Three. Four. Two, three, and four. All right. And what I should do now, I should carry on uh, doing all the stumps. And that's it for the stumps then. We'll show you when everything starts to come up. And uh, But what we shall do is the next video is uh, planting the leeks and onions out. And then we'll show you the process of doing that. Thank you very much.